I'm about to fly incredibly high, to the very edge of the Earth's atmosphere. From here, I'm hoping to see something that only a handful of people have ever seen. The thin blue line, the fragile strip of gas that surrounds our whole planet. And this is what's going to take me there. So this is an English electric lightning, the most beautiful fighter aircraft ever built. This is when, when England built the best aircraft in the world. The Lightning is no longer in service, but this piece of magnificently overpowered engineering is going to take me 18 kilometres straight up. Actually, I read somewhere that the, when you read about the altitude of the Lightning, it says altitude estimated 60,000 feet, ceiling classified. So, I don't know how high these can go. I've heard rumours they can go to 80,000 feet, <laughs> which is amazing. My journey will take me beyond almost all the molecules of gas that make up our atmosphere. If you feel you're going to get sick, yeah. use a bag, OK? Right. Hopefully not. To get there, I'm going to experience what made the lightning famous, a vertical takeoff. It takes just seconds to reach nine kilometres up, but I'm still in the thickest layer of the atmosphere called the troposphere. But the further I climb, the thinner the atmosphere becomes. Up at 58,000 feet. 90% of the atmosphere is below me. The only people above me are on the space station. So beautiful. I'm now at 60,000 feet, 18 kilometres up, and the highest I can go. Above me, the sky is a deep, dark blue. And that is what I've come to see, our atmosphere. That really is the thin blue line that protects us. So fragile, so tenuous. Just a tiny sliver of blue. Amazing. 